Hello there, Ledge families. This is Chaz Miller, proud principal of Ledge Street Elementary. I want to give parents a brief update on the new traffic pattern at Ledge. Uh, it's been reversed uh, from what it was last year, um, and this reversal has allowed us to make some critical safety changes uh, that'll help uh, to create a more uh, efficient and safe experience for kids and families here on campus. So uh, why did I change this, change this traffic flow? Well, simply there were uh, student visitor safety issues that I thought needed to be fixed, and I couldn't fix them unless I change this traffic flow. Um, with the previous traffic flow on campus, uh, students had to walk through buses exiting campus during dismissal to get to the walker uh, standpoint um, around by the playground area um, because buses were out back, they were dismissed through the gym and then they had to drive around the access road and there is a point during dismissal or was a point where buses drove through the families and the walkers who were waiting there. Um, I wanted a safer experience than that for kids here at Ledge. So now the buses um, are going to be in the front entrance. And so they are able to dismiss from there because they're um, because of the reversal in the carpool line. So um, that will remove buses from walking or from walkers in and families waiting for walkers in that playground area. That was one reason. The second reason is that uh, unfortunately during morning carpool, um, I noticed uh, on several occasions that there were some parents that used excessive speed or uh, showed unsafe driving practices uh, for being on campus. And the new carpool, which I'll show you in a moment with this map, the new carpool setup uh, for both arrival and dismissal will allow for not only more regulated speed on campus when kids are being uh, dismissed or coming in for arrival, but it will also allow me to control the traffic uh, a bit more. So if you take a look at the map before the, the um, the entrance was over here by Nat, by the central office building, and then they would parents or families, visitors would drive through and then exit through the playground area. I've reversed that so that now cars enter by where the playground area is and exit through uh, where the central office um, buildings uh, were at near there. Um, now, once somebody comes on campus, um, you will not be able to exit campus until the cars in front of you move. And it's marked on this map as two carpool lanes. There is no through lane anymore. So it's super important that parents know once they enter carpool, they're not gonna be able to get out until the cars in front of them move. And what I'll be doing is I will be directing traffic from about the crosswalk area here. I will have all traffic stopped in both lanes. I will dis uh, say it's arrival. When kids arrive in the morning, I will have three to four cars on each side. So six to eight cars in a group will let out their students, go safely to the sidewalk and go to walk inside. And then at that point, I will let all of those six to eight cars move in a group off campus. I will stop the next group of cars, cars and the next three to four on each side, the next six to eight cars, they will let their students off and go onto the sidewalk. When all students are on the sidewalk safely from those six to eight cars and walking inside, I'll let those six to eight cars move forward. So it will be very regulated as when cars move, when students are coming out, there is no, car, no movement of cars until all kids are safe on the sidewalk, then the car traffic will move. So it will move in larger chunks, which will be good and which will keep the carpool um, line moving. But again, it's going to be critical that parents come in and they safely follow these rules of coming in, stopping, making sure they let their kids out quickly, and then going in. My suggestion is for parents, make sure you get backpacks all set, uh, say your goodbyes to your kids as you enter carpool so that when you come in, all the kids do. When you're motioned for your child to get out of, out of the car, they unbuckle, they leave the car, obviously saying bye-bye, we'll see you later, and then they go in because it's going to be very quick. The parents are, are expected to just let their kids out. If you would like to uh, have a longer goodbye with your child or you need time to get them situated, every parent, uh, as I know as well, has those days, feel free to use some of the front parking 
uh, that is in the front of the building, as well as on 11th Street or 12th Street or any of the side streets that I don't have marked here, but they're there and can um, there can be parking there. And then parents can drive onto campus from there because they know their kids are ready to be dropped off quickly, or you could keep your car parked and walk your child onto campus. Please do not park at central office parking. Um, that is for central office and central office visitors only. Um, it also creates an uns unsafe situation when parents are coming in and out of there um, and intermingling with the carpool that is coming out um, very strategically from campus. So please do not park morning or afternoon um, at central office parking. For dismissal, there is no carpool with the exception of kindergarten. There is a kindergarten carpool um, that will do the same as morning carpool with two lanes, no through lane for kindergarten only. Grades one through five, again, will have to park off campus to pick up their children or park on the side streets. Um, buses will be in front. I didn't mark it on the map because they will only be in front for just a few minutes as they're dismissed before carpool. And then buses will leave and that will allow both lanes to open for uh, carpool uh, arrival and dismissal. Um, so again, this is new for parents. I wanna say thank you in advance to all parents for their patience. Uh, there will probably be a few glitches as everything new has glitches when you first start out, but I have used this um, process at other schools I've been at and it's been very successful and very safe and very efficient. So I think once this gets up and gets running, uh, it will be much more efficient and much safer for students. As always, if you have any kind of questions or concerns, feel free to reach out um, and uh, let me know. Thanks.